Hey, amazing leaders. Okay, this is the video I was telling you guys we're going to try to get done talking about how to train a new ambassador once you have someone sign up. And um, I'm just really excited because yesterday I had a Zoom meeting with some other senior rubies, and we actually had Callie, um, I think you say it, Broad. She's an emerald. And so she went over what she does when she signs up a new ambassador. Um, she walked us through how she trains them and her whole philosophy is keeping it simple, but also fun. Um, and so I'm just going to give you the basics of what we went over. And I think for a lot of us, um, we fall into one of two camps. We either overload our new ambassador with a ton of information and probably overwhelm them, um, and just give them everything that we think that they'll ever need. Um, all at once or we don't do anything to train them because we don't even know where to start and um, so I know most of us probably fall into one of those two camps so what I love about Callie's approach is she really um, simplifies it she gives them enough information but also keeps it simple enough to where it's duplicatable you know she knows that once she trains that level one, when they sign up somebody new, they're going to be able to duplicate what she did with them. So duplication is key. You know, if we are going above and beyond to train our new ambassador, that's great. But chances are they're not going to be able to duplicate that down. Um, so her first thing is, you know, when you get that email saying, um, you know, hey, congratulations, you have money, you have a new level one. Um, what she does is she calls them that day or messages them depending on their relationship or whatnot and just lets them know, hey, I am so excited um, because when people sign up, they're excited. They might be nervous, but they're excited. So she just matches that excitement and just lets them know, hey, I am excited for you too. Um, I can't wait for you to get your products. I can't wait for you to get your welcome pack. Um, and just really welcomes them and shows that she's excited. So that's the first thing. Get in touch with them within the first like 24 to 48 hours and just let them know you're excited that they joined your team. That can be through call or message, whatever seems to work for your situation at the time. Um, what else? The next thing is you want to find a time within the first two weeks. She said the first two week window is crucial. Um, and you're going to find a time to either meet with this person in person if they live local or do a Zoom chat or even on the phone. But a Zoom chat is kind of nice because then you can see each other even if you don't live near each other. Or there are some people who are crazy busy um, and even if they live in the same city as you, might only be able to find a time to do a Zoom chat within that two-week window. So you are going to reach out to them and just let them know you're so excited. You can't wait to give them more information um, to hit the ground running and have all the information they need. Um, and you're going to give them two or three, three max, times and dates um, for when you can meet or when you can do a Zoom chat. The, she, made it, she made a good point. She's like, don't just say, hey, when you get a chance, let's get together, blah, 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 because you will never get anything on the calendar if you leave it in their court open-ended like that. So give them two or three times and days and just be like, hey, these are the times I'm available. It's going to be about 20 minutes max. Um, because you don't want to overwhelm them. You don't want to give them too much information. And your time is important. Your time is valuable. So, um, you know, you don't have an extra 45 minutes just to, um, you know, just sit and chat. I mean, maybe you do, but you really want to make it seem like, hey, my time's valuable. Let's do this. Let's do this in 20 minutes. These are the day's times. Pick one and then just run with it. Um, and she just made a good point. She's like, start from day one being duplicatable. Even if you do have two hours to meet with this person and have coffee or whatever and train them, I mean, if you feel comfortable doing that, do it. But keep in mind, that person might not be able to duplicate that down the road. Um, they may have a crazy busy life and they might think, man, I don't have time to train this person the way I was trained, so now I can't do any of it. So keep it duplicatable. Um, Okay, so you guys, I don't know about you, this is the success guide that comes in your welcome pack. Um, I actually went through mine and I was proud of myself. I forgot that I actually had written in it, 
but um, this is what Callie uses to train people. And the beauty of this is um, everyone gets one. Everyone gets one in their welcome pack. So you're going off the same information. Um, you're not spending a bunch of time and money printing off stuff. You know, some of us I know have made binders for our ambassadors. Those are great, but um, chances are it's not duplicatable. This is duplicatable because everyone gets one. Um, and it really is full of all the information that they will need to get started. Um, I actually used it, and I'm proud of myself that I actually did it. I forgot I used it, but I have a lot of things written in here. Who knew? Um, but then I haven't opened it since, and I haven't used it to train anyone, but I'm going to start because this is incredible. Um, get yours out if you haven't looked at it. Um, get it out, you guys. It has you know, Plexus corporate information, um, you know, their address, the website, contact information, customer service, phone number, um, when the weekly Wednesday calls are and the way to get on those calls. Um, section two is all about getting started. There's a 48 hour checklist. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like I actually went through it when I got mine and checked off the things that I did. And it's just like, identify your why, set your goals, Completing your list of contacts. Um, section three is all about identifying your why. And there's little check boxes for which of the following areas are important to you. They can go through um, and check what's, what's important to them. You know, is it, do they want to lose weight? Do they want a fulfilling career? This is a great thing for them to get started with. Even if they're joining for the discount, you guys, they might read through this and be like, oh, wait, like, Hey, I can leave a legacy through Plexus. Like, what's that about? This might pique their interest in um, create create curiosity. You know, that they might not have had when they signed up. Okay. Um, also in section three, um, let's see. It, it, there's a place for them to write their goals. Um, and okay, section four is all about making their list. This is a great place to for them to write down their list. And there's also a memory jogger. Um, so it gives them ideas on who to think about, you know. Um, you know, accountants, hairstylists, personal trainers, your neighbors, your plumber, your pharmacist, things like that. So this is a great source for them to um, think about who they might want to talk to about Plexus. And then it actually has an area where they can write down those people. And it's actually a top 25 list, which I think is crucial. Um, and then there's just more and more great information. And in the back, there's company information. It talks about network marketing. talks all about our products, you guys. Like, who even knew? I didn't even think this was in there. Um, that is huge. This alone can be all that they need to go off of to learn about our products. If they didn't have anything else, this would be all that they needed to know what products we have and what they do. Okay. So use this. If you're doing a Zoom chat or you're meeting in person with the meeting in person with that person, have them bring this and go through it with them. You don't have to comb through it; just touch on it. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna start using that with my new level ones. I'm really excited about it because I think that's what we need. Um, okay. Let's see. She also welcomes her new ambassador. So if she gets a new level one. She lets them know, hey, you know, I'm going to go ahead and welcome you to our team pages, but I'm also going to welcome you on my personal Facebook page. Um, and just, you know, just to welcome you and get excited and everything. And if they say no, that's okay. Obviously, you don't have to push it. But, you know, she says if people say no, then she's like, okay, but just know, you know, once you start having great results and loving these products, people are going to want to come to you. So um, be aware that people are going to want to come to you for more information. So she just plants that seed right from the get-go. And then instead of really focusing on their huge long-term why, because she said a lot of people get overwhelmed with that and a lot of people aren't big dreamers. So what she does is she asks them, um, okay, what can 100 extra dollars a month do for you? What can $300 a month extra do for you? What can $500 a month extra do for you? Um, and she really focuses on that because she thinks, you know, those are tangible. People can um, dream a little bit with those numbers. They, you know, saying, hey, wouldn't you like to make $10,000 a month? People are like, okay, yeah, who wouldn't? But it's not possible. But when you put those numbers out there, $100, $300, $500, those are doable within the first 
month for sure with Plexus, if not the first couple of weeks. So, um, you know, ask them those questions. You know, if you had an extra $300 a month from Plexus, what would that look like to you? What, how would that bless your family? Um, and so she focuses on that because chances are their first paycheck will be that. And then they can really see, oh my gosh, this is life changing. Um, okay, let's see. Keep it fun. Love, love your team. You know, love these people. Build relationships with them. Um, you know, you never know what's going to come from it. You know, of course, we're in this for Plexus, but, you know, there are some lifelong friendships that are being developed through our teams. Um, so it's just really exciting to know um, that bigger things are happening, bigger than just Plexus. Um, okay. I think that's it. That's pretty much what she goes over in her training. Um, that's pretty much it. Just, you know, recap real quick. So when you sign somebody up within the first 24 to 48 hours, reach out to them, whether it's Facebook Messenger, calling them, texting them. I mean, calling is probably always going to be the best. And just letting them know you're excited for them. You know that this is going to be life-changing for them. Um, and then from there, you want to set up a time to meet with them in person or via Zoom chat and go over this success guide with them. Go over, you know, what would an extra $100, $300, $500 look like for their family a month? Um, and then... Let's see, welcome them to your team page, obviously, but also welcome them to your personal page and tag them in it so it shows up on their Facebook page. Um, oh, this was another one, I just skipped it. Um, this was huge. She said, obviously, they're gonna come up with their contact list when they're going through their success guide. It has a space for their top 25 people. But she, in addition to that, she asked them, okay, who are your top three people that you can think of right now that you know, and these are people who may have just signed up for the wholesale discount. Um, you know, your level one may have just signed up for the discount, but you're still going to ask this question to them. Who are three people that you know right off the top of your head could either benefit from these products or benefit from this opportunity? Um, they either need the products or they need the opportunity or both. Get those names from that person. Get those names from your new level one. And then what you're going to do is you are going to set up a three-way call or a three-way message or a three-way Zoom chat with that person and call them, you know, do a conference call with the three of you. Let them know, like, you know, your new level one would let them know, hey, you know, Susie, I just signed up for Plexus. I'm really excited about it. Um, I just, I have my sponsor on the line because I'm brand new. I don't know everything there is to know yet. Um, but I really thought that this would be something you'd be interested in, whether, you know, I know you have chronic migraines and I've heard that our, our products can help, or I know you've been wanting to stay at home um, with your babies. And um, I think that this might be something that you should look into. Do that from the get go. You know, you want to get those three names from your new ambassador and you want to get those three way calls or um, Zoom chats scheduled within the first two weeks while they're excited, while they're getting their welcome pack in, um, and you guys, that could be their first three customers or their first three ambassadors that join them. Um, and while you're doing that three-way call with them, you're obviously sharing about the products, sharing about our opportunity. Keep it quick. Keep it simple. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. Um, but, you know, your new ambassador is going to hear you and they're going to understand, oh, like that's all it took. That's all it takes to tell somebody about Plexus. I can do that. Um, it's duplicatable. Um, and then also, you know, they might go silver right away. If they go silver within their first couple weeks because they reached out to their three top people, um, their first paycheck is going to be amazing. And chances are they're going to stick with it because they'll see how life-changing not only our products are, but our compensation plan. Okay. I know this is super long. This is the um, just, you know, how to train your new level one. Um, don't have to overwhelm them. You don't have to go over the compensation plan. You don't have to go over the products in detail. If they ask, great. You know, there are videos out there you can direct them to for all those things. That's not your, that's not up to you to um, really focus on with them. Just go over the basics. There's information out there if they want more information. All right, have a great day.